question. Okay. Uh, Roy said you've been held out of last yesterday's practice and today. What's that for? Is that just to? Um, just I'm not quite sure what happened. Just some little something going on with my shin. Just wanted to rest it as much as I can. Um, just so I don't have any setbacks going into this weekend. I'll probably you know come back to practice tomorrow and you go from there. Um, I probably feel like I could, but it's just you know kind of precautionary at this point. Cam, I noticed in the locker room after the Duke game that you seemed like probably the most dejected player in there, at least in my opinion, I thought you were. Um, I was just wondering what that was. was. Was that just, you know, the th that your last ACC tournament kind of thing and not being yeah, able to win? Yeah, it was a little bit of all of that and just a little bit of frustration on my part just because, you know, I feel like just me specifically, I feel like I kind of let some guys down. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of it, you know, it was on me, on my shoulders, so that kind of just weighed heavy on me in that moment. I was a little frustrated, um, you know, just a couple of plays I wish would have gone a different direction that didn't. And I just hate losing, and I know everybody else does, but I'm, I really respect my teammates for kind of helping me and anybody else who's kind of struggling in that moment to have a positive outlook. Because at the end of the day, you know, this this right here, what we're about to do is, is, is a big dream, a big goal of ours, and, you know, we got to be fully invested in it. Is that something that you learned after that, or is it a situation where maybe you can put too much pressure on yourself moving forward? What do you mean? Well, you said that your teammates helped you through it. So were you putting maybe a little too much pressure on yourself to perform in that moment and, and to take the loss personally? And if and if so, are you saying your teammates helped you through that and maybe you won't apply too much pressure? No, I don't think it's a matter of putting too much pressure on myself. I think it's a matter of handling any pressure that comes your way through you know, wins, losses, you know, whether you feel like you contributed a lot or a little. The pressure is going to be there. Um, it's kind of how you handle it. And I was frustrated, and the big thing, you know, around the locker room was guys just, you know, having a lot of confidence in our team and being excited for what we can accomplish. And, you know, those those outlooks, you know, were, were helpful for me because it's like, you know, I got a team full of guys that are just ready to, to get the next one and are excited for what's to come. And, then, you know, as a senior, that's all you could ask for because, you know, Kenny, Luke, and I want to go out on the most positive note we can. And, you know, we would like it to have no losses on it. We would like to have one NAC tournament and then, you know, win as many games as we can upcoming. But uh, unfortunately, we didn't win the ACC tournament, so, you know, we really, really want what's, what's coming up next. What can you take from last year's tournament experience and uh, I'll give advice to the younger guys Ooh. with? Last year's tournament experience, um, I honestly think we caught ourselves looking ahead a little bit too much. And not even like, a, you know, like Texas a and not going to be very good. Well, we beat them easy. It's just, I don't think we were as mentally focused on that game as we should have been. Um, and it, it's just the main thing that I try to convey and that we all are understanding is that it takes 40 minutes of just the B minus effort can get your butt kicked in this tournament. And uh, that's kind of how our season last year was remembered. That's kind of the stain we left. That's how people remember that 2018, I mean 2007, 2018 team. So we want to change that. We want to go out there, compete every second, not take any game for granted, and enjoy the moment. If, if at all, <clears throat> entering this tournament, does it feel different than last year? And if so, how? It does feel a little different than last year. Um, it feels a little bit different. But I think it's because we feel the, the loss last year. Um, we got some new players, but the guys that came back feel, you know, what happened last year. You know, when we were in last year's tournament, going into that, we, you know, the team was coming off of a national championship. So it's like we're the, you know, we're sitting at the top of the mountain now, so it's a deep throw on us. But now we're back at the bottom trying to climb our way back to the top. How exciting is this week leading to the tournament? How pumped up are you all? So it's, it's unbelievable. Um, we're just, you know, extremely, extremely excited. Um, you know, we're ready to get going, ready to, to start it, and uh, I, I think that, that enthusiasm is, is going to be very helpful for us. Uh, you, if you just look around the locker room, around practice, you know, you'll see that we're ready to go. So, Coach, okay. so oh, did, did you feel that, that pressure being? The, well, I did personally because I had won nothing. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, don't think it was a, I don't think it was a pressure. Okay. I think it was more like uh, they had just gone to two championships back to back now. So it's like, yeah, it's pretty routine for them. Kenny and Luke knew nothing else. Yeah. They knew, B-Rob said, they knew nothing else. Shea, they knew nothing else. That was their college experience. They went to that championship when they, you know, had a college season. So I guess, you know, to, to lose early and then to sit at home and watch the rest of the games is a, is a, little, a little shock to the system.
In the huddle yesterday, Coach said he asked a couple of guys what are your favorite memories of basketball, and they said the run to the national championship in 17. How did that fit you, and how do you absorb something like that? Um, I looked around the huddle, and he asked Luke, he asked Kenny, who was injured at the time, and Kenny and Luke's response were the same. It was that run to the national championship. And people just kind of started smiling, and, and I know I kind of started smiling. And I knew it. everybody who was smiling was thinking about the possibility of getting there. Uh, and, and, you know, and why, you know, what's not the smile about when you think about getting there and, and having that experience? And they kept saying, it's the best experience of your life. It's the best experience of your athletic career. You'll, there's nothing that can compare to it, and there will be nothing that can compare to it. And I, I believe that, because uh, this is a special tournament. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of excitement around it. So uh, it just kind of raises the stakes and, and, and gives you a little something extra, a little boost. Yeah, how, do you feel, how do you feel moving about to the second round to the first round for the NBA draft? <laughs> <laughs> Internal recent projections. Oh, uh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, I feel a little better now. Um, body's starting to feel good. And I'm just kind of going out there and playing. Whatever happens, happens. I'm, I'm really focused on what's happening you know, right now because – I figured the, be the better we can do now and the better we can end our season, the better off I'll be in my future wherever that, you know, wherever that takes me. But I, I'm just you know, living in the moment and just taking you know, everything. You know, I feel really fortunate to be in the situation. I feel really blessed to be in the situation. Um, and my job is just to go out there and make shots and help the team in any way I can, defensively, moving the ball, rebounding. And that's just what I'm going to try to do game in and game out. And wherever that takes me, uh, I'll, I'll live with that. Cam, we, we you and Kobe and Luke, you, you guys have carried the offensive load as, as the lead guys, but you've also had like one guy could go off for 25 on any night. How have you guys made that work in terms of it could be one of the three of you guys that it, everybody's looking to? Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's no meeting before the game where we're like, right, Kobe, this is, this is your game. Luke, this is your game. Uh, it just happens in the flow of the game, and I feel like when somebody gets hot, it's like, okay, get them some extra shots, get them going, get them moving. Um, and it's just kind of been our team dynamic. We, throughout our play and practice, you'll see players kind of get hot in certain moments, and we kind of you know ride that in practice. And so we're used to it. Uh, and it's not that other guys aren't capable of scoring that moment, but when you have so many weapons, it, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And let's say one team is giving a lot of defensive attention to Luke, it just frees up the rest of us, or Kobe frees up the rest of us. So that's also a, a result, and that's also a reason why you know we kind of seem to rotate uh, big games, um, but you know, I, I love it. I love having guys around me that can score. I love having good basketball players around me. So, I mean, I wouldn't trade these group of guys for anything. I think we got a, a pretty solid group from top to bottom. You can play three of the, the other three one seeds and two of the two seeds. Does it give you guys confidence or help you know you've played the best teams in the country already this year? Yeah, it does. It does. Because, um, you know, three of the one seeds are in our own conference and we've played against one of them three times. The other one you know, we, we took down to the wire and wished things would have gone a little differently. But I felt like all those games that we've played recently, you know, after, you know, co started conference play against those top teams um, were winnable games. And, you know, the teams that we're going to be playing in, in the next couple of weeks, you know, if we keep on advancing, will be very, very good teams. Um, but I think we've proven to ourselves that we should step into every game with confidence that, you know, we can uh, handle the, the team across from us. And you know, the more confidence we have, the more energy and excitement we play with, the better off we'll be. In what we'll ways? The other guys. In what ways has Kobe gotten better defensively, and how much has that been a big part of you guys as a group getting better defensively? There comes a time where you start to just grasp it more. Uh, I remember when I first got here, I thought you know, his defense will be all right. Um, I've played for two different coaches already, but there was just a little bit of adjustment period. Even like for me, I've been in college for a couple of years. It was trying to figure out what exactly the coaches wanted you to do and then making that go from, you know, a thinking process to instinctual. Um, and Kobe's picking that up, you know, very quickly now. And you see it, he has a lot of intangibles. He has a lot of quickness. He has size over a lot of other guards. And he has a tenacity that a lot of people do not have. So once that starts to click more and it becomes more instinctual, you just see him, you know, give overall better defensive performances. And uh, we're going to need that going forward. So I hope he keeps it up. Thanks, Kevin. Kenny or Luke will be in next.